How's it going everybody? My bad here coming in today with sort of an improvised Fatwood Friday. I dug this piece out of the snow a while ago. We're gonna see if we can strike it, but if we can't, we already got alternate ways to strike uh, to uh, create a fire by striking a ferry rod. What we got right here, plain old cotton balls. I'm gonna strike one with uh, no uh, help. I'm gonna strike some with burnt motor oil. I'm gonna strike some with petroleum jelly. I'm gonna strike a little bit with some contact cement. You can also use burnt um, cooking oil as well as any other petroleum product as an accelerant or as a, um, a way to keep the fire going for a longer and extender, if you will. So, we also got the old try and true dryer lamp. And the reason for today's assortment of things that you can strike a uh, starter fire with is because my friend, uh, my sister's friend Jessica, who likes this particular um, show that I do on Fatwood Friday, didn't know that you could do, uh, you know, strike a fire as easily as what I did with this last week. And she, I would like to show her other methods of striking a fire. She might want to get into bushcraft just for funsies, I don't know. I reckon she's one of the city girls from Jonesboro, city to me at least. Anyways, let's get to it. Grab us a little bit of dryer lint. Hopefully the wind doesn't take it away. Oh, one other thing also going to be using that lip balm showing you why those Burt's Bees lip balms that I take out and I use on my lips ain't only for my wife they're dual purpose for a reason fluff this up a little bit this is standard let me get something hold it down here standard dryer lint no accelerant no nothing just the dryer lint. Go ahead and take that old Ted out. Give me a, uh, there we go. Always do a prep spark first. There we go, already on fire. And that's just regular old dryer lint. And that's why right there, you should always take out the lint out of your dryer. So that did real good. Lit up real fast. Now I'm just doing a regular cotton ball. Nothing else added to it. Fluff it up real good. Fluff it up real nice. Get them fibers going everywhere. Take your ferro rod. Fire it up. And now it's on fire. Real quick, real fast. Now, got this out of the way, so put it there for the extenders. A little bit of petroleum jelly, never hurt anything. Get some out. Get it. stiff. Very cold. Fluff this one up, get it ready. A little bunch of stuck in the cap. As you can see there, got it out. Put it in the cotton ball. Or you can fluff it up, put that one right there. So that one is the uh, lip balm, this one's a petroleum jelly. Get it all good and mashed up right there. Fluff it back up, put it right there. All right, set that one to the side. And this one's gonna be the contact cement. Fluff it up real good. Put it right there. Open the canister up. Just dump a little, couple little drops right there. 
Alright, good to go. Set it to the side, grab the ferro rod. Wow. They just went up real quick though. One strike, let all three. Let them burn up. As you can see, these are lasting a lot longer. They ain't burning up as fast as the one without. The contact cement's lasting a little bit longer than the other ones, but I did have two cotton balls for it. Put old Ted right there. Now today, we're gonna go through the whole entire process of this fat wood right here. Let these burn out a little bit more. But as you can see, they did stay lit for a good while. That petroleum jelly seeping out right there and onto the wood. I didn't use as much lip balm as I did the petroleum jelly, so that's probably the reason why. Contact cement looks to be about out. Petroleum jelly has lasted the longest, but once again, I used more of it than I did the lip balm. So, get all that out of the way. Put the old ferro rod right here. As you can see, this thing's still got ice on it. It's even got ice right here. So, not too positive how well this is going to go. I have not sharpened old Ted up yet, the Grizzlar. And it's still cutting like a champ. Clean this up here. Part of me wished I wore gloves today. Although I don't know if it would have helped. Get good old fine shavings out of that. Alright. We don't want a huge fire today. We don't need to make this video too long. Jesse's not having the best time in the world um, uh, downloading the long segments, but you'll take the back end of your knife and get them good old shavings like that. And it'll just light up Ricky Tick. There we go, that ought to be plenty. To that the fur rod right there there you go once again this fatwood friday is de dedicated to jessica my sister's friend out of jonesboro arkansas i appreciate you you know watching my channel i appreciate you uh giving me a little bit of support and uh Telling uh, my sister that you do watch my channel because she thinks I'm crazy <laughs> for buying all these knives and doing this kind of stuff. It's a, it's a fun hobby for me and it gives me a little bit of something to do while I'm home. Nice black smoke. Even on this uh, wood has been out in this weather, getting snowed on, sleeted on, freezing rained on and everybody in Arkansas on uh, February I believe today's the second or the third I think it's the third February 3rd knows it's pretty pretty nasty today of 2022 yeah I filmed this on Thursday but it's hard to get this sent out to the Philippines edited and then on for Friday I filmed the uh, last Fatwood Friday on Thursday and it didn't get out until Saturday Oh Ted right here, oh Grizzlar, this knife has been doing phenomenal. Y'all have seen a lot of the things that I've done with it. It is still shaving sharp. Absolutely.
wonderful knife. I appreciate this. No tactical everyday dad. Hooking up all the dads around the world. I reckon that'll be the end of the show today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment on my videos. Tell them my bad what you'd like to do. And Jessica, keep on watching. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.